Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, my brothers and sisters, we are at Pentecost. It is the culmination of our Easter season. We've been celebrating these wonderful 50 days of the resurrection, the constant reminder of who we really are and the blessing that God is, of course, in our lives. Not just here on earth, but in the world to come. So as we celebrate the beauty of this wonderful day when God's Spirit once again reminds us that He's always here with us, He's never, never left us, never left us orphan, we gather to celebrate on the beauty of Pentecost, the power of God's Spirit in our lives. So let's take a moment now and prepare our hearts and to ask for the Lord's pardon and His peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now, 
There were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. One body. 
whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Bishop stood before us and 
took that, that wonderful oil in and sealed God's Spirit again once within us. Kind of stirring the Spirit up. I remember as a young child, Sister Mary Alice was my favorite teacher. She always kind of did some cool things to kind of get the point across. And uh, so she came to class one day and she took out of a bag a, uh, a bottle of milk and uh, a glass and a big old thing of Hershey syrup. Well, you know she had my attention. And uh, she filled uh, the glass of milk and then she took the, the Hershey syrup and she squeezed it in and all of it went to the bottom. And she said, that is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit inside of you. She says, what you have to do is you got to stir it up and make chocolate milk. It made sense to me. Because I realized that God's always been with me, been with everyone. And there are times when we recognize God. There are times when we feel the presence of God. There are times when we stir it up in our lives. As a child, I also remember saying to my mom, Oh, Mom, I don't want to go to Mass. It's so boring. Look at me now. I do Mass every day. Who would have thought? But my mom used to say in her wisdom, listen, it's boring because you don't put anything in it. You will only get out of mass what you put into it. I think that's an analogy for life. It's an analogy for life. It's like, do you stir up the spirit of God within you? Do you make the chocolate milk? Or is it just there on the bottom and it doesn't ever get touched? Does it never get stirred up? Sometimes we have these moments when we feel stirred up. We want to stand for something that is right. We want to help somebody. We are moved by somehow a power that we can't explain. The inspiration of God. That, my friends, is what we are gifted with right now. So as we continue to walk in, in every day of our life, especially in the midst of everything that we're going through right now, I know there's a lot of people, more so than maybe have stirred up the Spirit of God within them. It's strange how sometimes difficult things bring us to a place where we start appreciating what's really important. We start getting in touch with what's really real. And I know in the midst of everything we're going through right now, that God's Spirit is right here, right now, in the midst of it all. That you and I have the courage, the strength, the grace to stir the Spirit of God up in our life. And now, my brothers and sisters, we proclaim our truth. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us then and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we bring our prayers before our gracious and loving and caring God who listens to the voices of his children. That Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and for all bishops, priests, deacons, and lay men and women would be guided.
guided by the gift of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will destroy all the divisions that separate the human family and unite all nations to work together against disease, famine, and injustice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in research and development will work together to develop safe procedures to reopen our country and promote the well-being of everyone, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That just as the apostles did, we recognize our own Pentecost experience and hear Jesus say, Receive the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who died, especially those of our parish community and in our Book of Intentions, that they will receive the crown of victory and reign forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for our intentions spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, once again we come before you with the prayers we hold in our hearts. We ask that you grant them through Christ our risen Lord. Amen.
pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Oh, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.